welcome back to seeing my face <laughs> but um so you guys saw i pretty much had breakfast so i am trying the that girl trend you've probably seen it everywhere on tiktok and everything and that girl is the girl that you want to be the best version of yourself it's really about having balance being organized having your things in order being prioritizing your day not letting your day run you but you kind of take control of the day and that is what i'm doing today and so far y'all i already feel good so now i get on some little workout clothes i'm about to go for a walk and then i am going to come back and do some yoga Right now, I'm done with my workout. It felt really good. I feel, I just feel really good. Um, so now I'm gonna make me a smoothie. Kind of using some, the rest of my avocado from this morning. So if you're watching this, y'all, you're <laughs> gonna laugh. But if you watched my last skin video, then you obviously saw that what I was doing was kind of working, but then I switched up some things. So I was supposed to get a facial. The lady ended up canceling on me. And I was getting a little frustrated because I'm supposed to be going home soon and we're taking like family photos and I just really wanted my skin to be the best it could be. So, and then, you know, I was also, you know, guys, I'm like, the do I was, was doing the gluten and dairy free and I just got really like frustrated. Like, I don't know if it was my anxiety. I really, not, not my anxiety, I don't have anxiety, but I don't know if it was just like my overall me being worrying and stressing about, about my skin. Um, and then depriving myself of like certain things to eat. I like had a breakdown. Like I was just like over it. I felt like my skin kind of had like went bad. And I switched some products up. And I started incorporating gluten back into my diet. Not consistently. As you guys know if you watch my other video. It was a recommendation. I was never told that I had a gluten intolerance. I was. It was recommended after I got my blood work. To cut out gluten and dairy. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep the gluten because there's no reason for me to deprive myself of gluten. And I was getting frustrated with some of the meals I was cooking, like just trying to stress about what I can and cannot eat. And I think that was causing me more stress. So I just, I'm eating gluten again in moderation, but I'm eating it. I'm just kind of gonna take more of an intuitive, right, like intuitive route with my skin like what do i want what do i want to eat what makes me feel good i don't have to overindulge but i just need to balance it out because there's no reason for me to deprive myself of things and then i'm getting frustrated and then i'm stressing out and then i'm not even eating the right foods throughout the day like i'm just eating that meal and i'm frustrated and don't want to eat anything else and my body needs more nutrition throughout the day and i'm not being as balanced as i should be so that's just like a quick little skin update all right guys, I have changed outfits. It is time to actually do some work. So I have to take some photos for um, this brand. I work with them on Octoly. So they sent me the product, they want me to use the product. I do feel like it did lighten up a little bit. Uh, some, these are new whitehead breakouts or some, all these aren't even whiteheads, but I got some new breakouts. Um, but I do feel like it lightened a little bit. So I do think this would work. I mean, if you have acne, that's just a whole nother story. But I did have a lot more discoloration and I do feel like it did fade. So I'm with it. I'm with it. Because it typically, like even like how I'm looking at this now, like it would look a lot more hyperpigmented. So I think it worked. I use them every morning, every night. I like to always get some photos of just the product and I use portrait mode for that. And then I play with my F. Because I had these flowers in the background, I'm gonna use the flowers as my little spot. So.
I think it turned out pretty cute. I don't know if y'all can see that. So, yeah. So we'll edit those, cause I think I gotta post it tomorrow. I'm coming up on the deadline for that. But I really wanted to actually use the product before I just post it. Like I don't wanna just get it, post it. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if, what I wanna say about it. Um, so now I'm about to go change clothes again. My battery is like finna die for some reason. I don't know, but I am going to record my Zara haul. So I'm gonna do my makeup that y'all are not gonna see cause I'm gonna let my battery charge while I'm doing that. And then I'm going to get ready for my Zara haul record that because i uploaded one video today i'm gonna upload a video tomorrow so i still gotta edit a video so we're gonna work probably until about three four o'clock and then we're done with work so i'm about to grind hard until about four o'clock okay guys your girl just wrapped up her zara haul video that is going to be linked right here so here's the zara haul um we are done now your girl is hungry so i've got all my work work done that i actually had to do today i got my photos got my zara haul and now i'm hungry so we are about to cook um chicken kale I saw it like an easy lunch. I think it'd be an easy lunch for the whole week actually. So I'm gonna make the chicken breast. Probably gonna do them in the air fryer and then cut the kale. And then we have a few more things to do. I think we're gonna get down before four o'clock and that is fabulous. I'm going to relax the rest of the day. I'm not gonna have any responsibilities. Okay, it's gonna be great. So let's go cook my dinner because I'm my lunch because I'm hungry and it is like one. 30, I think. chicken and kale taste like it was super easy to just saute some kale i also added some parmesan uh, cheese on here and then you know i got my grilled chicken good a good little easy healthy lunch i think i'm also going to eat a orange cheers Okay, I'm out of the shower now and I'm going to put on an Aztec clay mask on my face. So we're gonna do a little facial. I typically, cause you guys know I'm dealing with my skin right now. I would say I do a facial maybe twice. I mean, not a facial, a mask like twice a week. Um. Whether it's a clay, it's usually been this clay mask I've been using a lot lately. So I would do this about twice a week, just put it on my face and rub it all in. 